minutes. Six, five, four, three, two, one. With vProtect 4.3, we have just introduced Fusion Compute support. Here in this short demo, I'm going to show you how to use vProtect and uh, backup virtual machines in Fusion Compute environment. Let me start with brief overview. Here I have my Fusion Compute virtualization platform and vProtect, which already has Fusion Compute Hypervisor Manager. This one has two hypervisors with some virtual machines already in place waiting to be protected. In the overview of the virtual machine, I can click full backup and run backup task. So you can see that it appeared in the task console. Backup consists of two parts. First, it exports data from the uh, APIs, not VRM. In this case, it's connecting directly to the hypervisor. So this boosts overall transfer rate. And then, once this part completes, it creates a store task which allows us to store backups in multiple backup providers that we support. That includes file-based backup providers, that includes also object storage and enterprise-grade backup providers as well. What is important with vProtect you can have multiple data movers, we call them nodes, and each one can handle separate backup tasks. This means that you can have multiple export tasks being done simultaneously, while later, you can notice that right now, you'll have separate pool of store tasks. So you will have separate pool of uploads, let's say to your object storage or any other storage that you have on your backend. Once this, this task completes, let's initiate incremental backups. vProtect supports change block tracking feature uh, with the Fusion Compute. This allows us to just grab the changed blocks with the incremental backups without the need to copy whole data again. That includes also um, that we don't need to read all of the blocks to have the information about the which which particular blocks have been changed. Again, this is two-step process. First, we are going to export data from the hypervisor and then store just the changed blocks into the backup provider. This operation is going to be significantly faster and without the significant load that is put on your network. Once we have completed the backups, now let's refresh the information about the uh, backups that have been created and let's initiate restore. In our case, we would like to restore to hypervisor manager. We choose which one because you can have cross hypervisor restores in this case. All of them need to be the same type. And I have provided the name of the virtual environment that I would like to have once the virtual machine is restored. Restore, again, is a two-step process. First, we need to fetch data from the backup provider, and later we need to import data back to the hypervisor manager. Notice that in this case, we have full and incremental um, backups stored separately. It's a regular file system, so we need to merge them first. But with vProtect version 4.3, we also support synthetic backup providers which will boost significantly this process because we will have option um, to restore directly a synthetic version of your backups. Import actually is the opposite operation in this case to the export. So we again, we upload data using the hypervisors APIs. So this will not go through the central hypervisors manager uh, APIs and this also is scalable so you can have Im multiple imports running at the same time. With the backups we store both metadata of the virtual machines and uh, separate uh, files for each virtual machine disk. So this means that we will have a single image containing all of the data of each 
virtual machine disk that you have. Once the import has completed, notice that I have another virtual machine Ubuntu here restart. This one has just appeared once the import have, has completed. Another feature that we support is file level restore. Notice that we are able to mount systems automatically. We can mount them manually if you have multiple of them or share drives over iSCSI. So you can browse files directly over iSCSI block device that is shared with some remote um, systems. In our case, we have chosen automatic um, option to mount the backup. So we will have the feeling that all of the file systems are exactly in the same order as they would be in the real life virtual machine. So the backup is being restored right now. This means that we need to also merge in this particular case, all of the backups that we have created. And the next step is mount. Mount in this case means that we will have this file system present on the vProtec data mover, and we will be able to browse and restore individual files directly via web browser. Once the mount has completed, we can go to the mounted backups view and here in the details, notice that we have a single file system, single root file system. This one covers a single virtual machine drive and now I can browse and restore individual files directly from the backup without the need actually to spawn a new VM uh, inside my real Fusion Compute environment. So thank you for watching this short video and stay tuned for another videos that we have on our blog.